RGPM dashboard functions. Default management fees. First, we go into the side toolbar under RGPM and click default management fees. Here, we can program each fee individually. This will program the fees for all the properties. However, we can adjust each property individually on the dashboard should we need to change our fees for a particular property. You will notice in the right hand column the fees can be edited at any stage should you need to adjust your fee settings. To charge a management fee to the accounts of a property, click on the green highlighted dashboard icon in your left hand toolbar and select the property from the property list. This will open the dashboard for that property. Scroll down until you get to Property Management Fees and click Add Expenses. This will open the Property Management Fees window. You will notice in the right hand charge column the word Charge in the top four listed expenses. The bottom four inspections cannot be charged from here. They automatically charge to their accounts when creating an inspection. They are listed here for editing purposes only. Once we click the word charge in the right hand column, the system will add that cost to the accounts. Then scroll down to view the entry on the balance sheet. Notice the charge is offset against incoming rent money and providing a balance in the right hand column. Also note the delete button in the right hand action column where the charge can be removed should the agent need to correct it. One off and reoccurring expenses. Click add expenses. Fill out the settings and cost for the expense. If it is reoccurring weekly or monthly, the system's calendar will continue to charge the accounts based on the inputted date settings. Once you have saved the added expense, it will appear at the bottom showing you the details of the expense, where you can edit or delete the expense at a later stage should you need to. This expense has now been charged to the accounts. Now click the back button to go back to the dashboard and view the entry on the balance sheet. All the entries are also uploaded into account statements and reports, which we will show you in our next training video. Deposit and rental payments. Under RGPM in the side toolbar, click RGPM accounts and select rental invoices in the drop down menu. This window will show a list of all payments from your tenants. Click the All Properties drop down menu and select the required property the payment will be offset against. Here shows a list of all deposit and rental payments in date descending order. Tick the received payments in the left hand column. This will now mark these payments off as paid and add these incoming entries onto the accounts. Let's go back to the dashboard to view the balance sheet. You will see the entries are listed in date descending order with a running balance on the right hand side. Our accounts also does part payments leaving balance amounts in RGPM invoices for later entry into the accounts. Should you receive cash payments, our system also prints and emails a receipt to the tenant automatically. To make a part payment, click the tenant's name in the deposit or rental entry to open the part payment window. Click the part payment button on the top right of the template. Enter the amount of the part payment and staff's name making the entry and click save. This will charge the accounts for that amount and leave the balance in the system 
to be marked off later when received. If we go back to the dashboard and view the balance sheet, you will see the entry of $300 for the part payment we just processed. Documents. Click Add Documents. Here, we can upload any necessary document file relating to the property. Example, the tenant's lease agreement. Simply type in a file name and click Browse to attach the file. This can be easily viewed by the agent from the dashboard. Our system also has RGPM user settings in the left hand side toolbar where you can switch on and off sections of the dashboard for staff, tenant and landlord adjusting what they can see from their login. Notes. Click add notes to enter any specific information you or your staff may wish to enter onto the dashboard. You can attach a document here also. Click the upload button to save this to the dashboard. Here, notes can easily be viewed with other information at any stage. Inspections. Click Add Inspection. First, select which type of inspection you would like to add. Each inspection cost is programmed into the property management fees and added to the accounts once the inspection is booked in on the dashboard. Select the date and time of the inspection and add a comment. This information is uploaded into the diary and listed in inspections on the dashboard. If the inspection is an open house inspection, it also gets listed on the app where potential tenants looking for a new home to either rent or buy can search budget, area, house or apartment, bedrooms, bathrooms and other information. Here, potential tenants or purchasers can view the inspection times and dates and register for the inspection. All registered people are listed in the inspection area on the dashboard. The agent is then notified by push notification and email. The agent and registered clients can use the app to communicate should either party be running late, etc. Posting a maintenance job. Click the type of maintenance job you would like to process. All red labeled fields are mandatory and must have an entry. Should your tenants be uploading the maintenance request using the app, the agent will receive an email and SMS letting them know a maintenance request has been created. All the agent is required to do is log in to the dashboard. The maintenance request will be listed on the bottom of the dashboard. The agent then clicks the maintenance entry to open the file and selects a contractor to send the job to. The system cross-references the job information against all the contractor's profile information, including service area and type of work, ensuring the contractors in the select drop-down do that type of work in that area. At no stage will the system provide a contractor to the client that cannot do that particular job. The agent can select a second contractor for two quotes. If the agent only gets one quote, the job file has a resubmit button should the agent need to send the job to a third contractor. The agent can list several email addresses or mobile phone numbers they wish the quote and system SMS to go to. The system SMSs the agent once the contractor has uploaded the quote, letting them know which email address it was sent to.
the agent can upload pictures of the job which get attached to the job file for the contractor. The agent can process the maintenance request from either here on the dashboard or from the agent's app. The agent can either use the registered Realty Guru contractors or send an invite to their preferred contractors to join their network. Once the maintenance request has been processed, it will be listed at the bottom of the dashboard and in running jobs at the top of the left hand side toolbar. To open the job file, just click on the job title. Here, you can type a message on the job file, which gets SMS to the contractor should you need to contact him or call him using the contractor's profile information listed here also. RGPM user settings. Click RGPM user settings in the left hand side toolbar. Here, you can adjust what the staff, tenant, and landlord can view from their personal login.